gigantic spaceship caught orbiting the sun with SOHO, ESA, NASA, multiple images, looks exactly like the Anunnaki winged disc. This is incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, Rex Bear Leak Project, how the heck are you? What you're looking at to the left is an awesome website called starshiparoundthesun.com. This is Robert Evans' website. He was on the show about a year, year and a half ago. He's came on several times and shown different images. Very nice guy. Well, when you look at this image from Soho, and I just want to zoom in real quick, and then I'm going to go over what Soho actually is for those of you that might not know specifically. Take a look at some of these images that have been caught and see the comparison of these ancient Mesopotamian tablets, Sumerian cuneiform, Anunnaki, you know, pointing at this spaceship with Anu and Lil Enki, saying, hey, this is where we come from. This is it. Right above them is the Tree of Life, and that reminds me of the story of Enoch that I read to you guys yesterday, one of the oldest known transcripts of the Book of Enoch. It is from the Dead Sea Scrolls. And it talked about how Enoch was taken up into the heavens and taken to where the tree of not the tree of life is after he was taken into the heavens above the black um, ab above the darkness or something like that. I'll have to read the exact quote, but it sounded as if he was going up above the heavens on a, on a space tour. They took him to the uh, location of where his ancestors, Adam and Eve, were, the tree of life. And that's what I feel this represents also. And this predates the Bible by thousands of years. But just the incredible images that have been caught over several years that look almost identical to this spaceship that many of these tablets, and even the Egyptian stuff, uh, there's symbols right now on many corporations that use the winged disc as well as the Rosicrucians, which if you do decide to join a mystery school for esoteric knowledge, the AMORC order is actually pretty cool. And they're open about a lot of the stuff that they, they do. I mean, they're not like uh, some other secret organizations and institutions that have these bizarre rituals. You can kind of go at your own pace and do it out of the convenience of your own home. And anyway, I mean, just very cool because you can actually go to their library in California and it talks about how this specific order was founded with Emotep back in the Egyptian times which is even after the Sumer some of the Sumerian stuff supposedly and they use the wing disc as one of their symbols as a part it's a part of their main symbol and it looks very similar to this image right here. So also, I just want to go share with you a little bit again about where it's located. So if you see the SOHO satellite, Solar Observatory, or Solar Heliospheric Observatory, it was a satellite that was launched many years ago and it was supposed to have been decommissioned several, uh, just a couple years after it was launched, but supposedly they had a bunch of success with it. And, you know, people a lot of times say, hey, you can't believe anything from NASA. I totally get where you're coming from. They do seem to show us a lot of images of Devon Island instead of Mars, etc. You know, the, the moon landing images and footage that they shared, most, you know, there's 99.999% of it has been verified, filmed in a, stu you know, in a studio. Some of the images that you see, though, look just like the images that I could, the, what I see with my own eyes when I look through the telescope that I have which is just an amateur 8-inch telescope, a Cassian. And I've also looked at the sun many times with the solar filter that I have. And it has, it looks just like the images they show with Soho, depending on which filter they use. So I feel that these images of Soho and the, the technology that they're using you know, this is actually the guts of this satellite right here. And then you can see another image of it as they were building it on their spacesuits. Here's the fact sheet about SOHO, Solar and Heliospheric Observatory. It is an international project, 
So it's not just NASA. It's an international project of cooperation between ESA, NASA to study the sun, and the deep core to the outer corona and the solar wind. So together with the cluster mission, SOHO is studying the sun-earth interactions from different perspectives. And then it gets into the technologies and it uses a whole bunch of stuff that I haven't done enough research into to, to give you a decent excerpt into it. So I'll just leave it at that. If you want to research more about how it was built, what it does, where it's at, etc. I will tell you this, if you want to see... Let's go back here. This image right here shows you where it's located. And it's in like this orbit. It's in this gravitational orbit with the sun and the Earth's orbit. So it has a really good opportunity to track the sun. This is a SOHO image that I think is really cool because it shows Venus. Let me move this over a little bit. It shows Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury, and the Pleiades star cluster. And then the sun right there. But that was a cool picture. It's directly from Soho. It's one of their greatest hits. This is supposed to be a comet. It's, supposed to be, it's called Comet Bradfield. It passed through Soho C3. Field of view April 18th, 2004. Take a look at that tail. Now, I'm going to zoom in on this. Because one thing that I've noticed with these images is it captures a light source that reflects what looks like wings, even on the planets. So if you look at Mercury, Saturn, Jupiter, Venus, etc., you can see how it has what looks a lot like wings. And we know that they're not. It's just a reflection with the technology which creates that. And what's interesting is you look at Saturn versus Jupiter. Well, Jupiter is a much larger planet, so that would make sense. You can see how much brighter the wings are of Jupiter, even though we know they're not wings. Once again, it's just an optical illusion. And how far away it is from the SOHO, from the satellite. So this image right here, it's, it looks like a spaceship. I mean, if you were to zoom in on it, it seems that it's got some kind of wings. Looks like a you know, pretty powerful tell there. But NASA's saying it's just a comet. So let's take a look at this one here. Comet Neat. Here's another one that seems to have wings. But most likely it's just from the reflection and the technologies. And you can download these. You can go to directly uh, Soho, www.nascom.nasa.gov. I've left the links in the video description box for you. This is another comet right here. Now, this is what's different. Is this is a comet here, but why isn't there, why isn't it showing the reflection as much? And this is a planet to the right. Uh, that's Mercury. So Mercury there. The asteroid, it does not have that same type of wing-looking reflection. Now we're getting into some of the tablets, some of these ancient Sumerian tablets that show Anu, the father of the heavens, coming from this, like, giant spaceship. Now let's say Nibiru. I still haven't been able to verify any sources of Nibiru, I found a bunch that talk about Nibru, which is ancient Mesopotamia, capital of uh, Uru, or Uru, where Iraq is now. Nippur, the capital. And supposedly it's a, a base station for an off-world planet. But I wonder if Nibru is legit. What if Nibiru is this spaceship, this huge, enormous spaceship? Could it be? This reminds me of that Book of Enoch that I just read to you guys yesterday. The Tree of Life, and above it, Anu. Looks like a spacecraft. You see the Ajiji, the bird people. They're all pointing up. They're all pointing at Anu from the spaceship, even above the Tree of Life. So let's go back here and take a look at some of these images. Once again, I want to give 
Mr. Evans a huge shout out for this website and all this information that he's been able to collect and put specifically at starshipsaroundthesun.com. He's on Facebook as well. I like this picture right here because this looks, to me, <laughs> like that's one heck of a comet, <laughs> right? Could this actually be that spaceship? It even seems to have some kind of thruster. This one I feel is really good. Looks like it's leaving some trail. Then you can see the ones that have... Let me move this over here a little bit. Looks like some kind of laser. I mean, if that is a laser, how far is that thing shooting? That would be, what, hundreds of thousands of miles? I don't know the perception. I can't, I can't tell you. But it looks pretty intense. Now, some of these, are these very large spaceships? Or are they just massive comets? I don't know. This one... I think is pretty compelling. This one I feel is very compelling as well. And then when you start seeing these ones, it looks like they've got lasers shooting out. This looks like a dual laser. Like a wishbone. And I, I can't say for sure if these are just comets breaking up on some of these. But this is over several years as well. And take a look at this bad boy. And then some of these, it looks like they just take a eraser on Photoshop and just go whoosh, wipe the whole thing out. Doesn't it? This is one of my favorites. What the heck is this? Can somebody explain this, please? And I think I might have an answer why so much of the stuff we see is photoshopped about the Earth and space. Not because the Earth's flat, but because some of the footage that's been released where they've shown, like there was that huge, was it a weather balloon or something that was launched into, into space and NASA was filming it. And you could see all these huge ships behind it that looked like these quarters with hollow holes. They were like, they were flying all around it and they were, it was almost like you were looking at something in the ocean, all, the, all these life forms in the ocean moving back and forth and in sync with each other. This is reminding me of that. That's one of the best pieces of footage I have ever seen that makes me feel, that adds to me, to, to the feeling, combined with the stuff that I've seen with my own eyes, that there's a lot more out there than even the ETs that we see. I mean, those things were huge. And it's almost as if they were sentient beings as well. The way that they worked so harmoniously. I've, se I've seen pictures of jellyfish looking things in the sky that are huge. I have friends that have seen them with their own eyes. That have RH negative blood. Do we come from the stars? Is Nibiru a giant spaceship <laughs> that has like some orbit of 3,600 years? That decides to come back around every 3,600 years or something? Are these demigods at the level of the demigod status in the Tibetan Book of the Dead, which is right below God status? God consciousness? They certainly act like it. Are we their elementals? <laughs> it descri we're described as their elementals, how they created humans with clay. You can make an elemental yourself, and you can project thought forms into that clay that you manifest, depending on the time of day and the energy you put into it. We live in amazing times. And I am so glad that this website is out there because this is from 1998 to 2013. 
Bob's got images over a span of 15 years. Good job, Bob. Nanu, 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 nanu. Fact sheet. Let me see if I got anything else for you guys. Comet Neat. Try something here. There we go. I can zoom in a little bit. Now, this one's interesting also. Because you, you definitely see that sun disk again. looks like a spaceship. Here it is again. And again. And again. And again. And again. And again. This is in Egypt. That's AMORC. And then here's some symbols. Now I've got an Air Force hat. I don't have a Bentley yet. I wouldn't want a Bentley. I'd rather have like a decked out Jeep. Now, in closing, Washington Post, Thomas O'Toole. This has been heavily suppressed. Mystery, heavenly body discovered. A heavenly body possibly as large as the giant planet Jupiter and possibly so close to Earth that it would be part of this solar system has been found in the direction of the constellation Orion by an orbiting telescope aboard the U.S. Infrared Astronomical Satellite. Now, good luck finding that article. And, I guess I'll close it with this. Doesn't that look like a giant bomb? And a huge mushroom cloud explosion? Well, this tablet's about five, 6,000 years old. Man, they're pretty smart back then, weren't they? Shooting arrows and nuclear bombs. But supposedly, we were, you know, we'd just been here for 6,000 years. and Or, you know, 10,000 years ago, 5,000 years ago, we were just, just picking cherries. You know, picking blueberries. <laughs> I want to say thank you for being here with me. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash clandestine time lord. Also, if you go to leakproject.com, if you want to help support the cause, 10 bucks a month, 50 bucks a year, you'll get access to over a thousand podcasts, downloadable, streamable, ad free. There's dozens of podcasts that are exclusive for members only at leakproject.com. Also, if you're looking for some really good supplements, detox supplements, digestive health, Skin care, hair care, get the tea dot com. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have a fantastic day. Question everything once again and be the change you want to see. Nanu, 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 nanu.